A U.S. Navy guided missile destroyer has performed freedom of navigation operations in the South China Sea. The warship is the Arleigh Burke class destroyer USS Curtis Wilbur DDG 54. China accused the warship of illegally entering its territory and claimed the vessel was expelled by its naval and air forces. But the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet hit back, stating that the ship was not expelled and that China does not control those waters. The important part is that the U.S. Navy conducted multiple phone ops in the South China Sea last year and the new Biden administration is continuing with the same practice. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how USS Curtis Wilbur DDG-54 has enraged China by sailing through the Taiwan Strait. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. China considers Taiwan as part of its territory and is willing to bring it back into its fold even if it requires force. In this context, it's important to note that in January last year, Taiwanese voters have re-elected incumbent President Tsai Ing-wen in a landslide election. This is seen as a sharp rebuke to Beijing and its attempts to intimidate and lure Taiwan into China's fold. She easily defeated her opponent Han Kao Yu, whose Kuomintang party promotes closer ties with China. Since this, China has postured aggressively against Taiwan. Taiwan Strait is part of the larger dispute of the South China Sea region. China claims almost 90% of the South China Sea. It's said that it has indisputable sovereignty over the area. Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, and Taiwan have disputed these claims. The route is significant as about $5 trillion in trade through shipping passes each year. Countries like the US, Japan, and India have no claims in the area and want freedom of navigation as per international maritime laws. The US statement read, The ship's transit through the Taiwan Strait demonstrates the US commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific. The United States military will continue to fly, sail, and operate anywhere international law allows. China criticized the U.S. Navy for disrupting peace in the contested waters. A spokesman for China's Eastern Theater Command said, The U.S. actions sends the wrong signals to Taiwan independence forces, deliberately disrupting the regional situation and endangering peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. USS Curtis Wilbur is an Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer in the United States Navy. Arleigh Burke class warships are designed as multi mission destroyers capable of anti aircraft warfare, AAW, anti submarine warfare, ASW, and anti surface warfare, ASUW. USS Curtis Wilbur, being an Arleigh Burke class destroyer, is among the largest destroyers built in the United States. It has an overall length of 509 feet, that's 155 meters, and a displacement of about 9,200 tons. USS Curtis Wilbur is powered by four General Electric LM2530 gas turbines producing 100,000 horsepower, or 75 megawatts, that drive two shafts. It has a speed of 30 plus knots, that's 55 plus kilometers per hour and a range of 4,400 nautical miles, or 8,100 kilometers. USS 
USS Curtis Wilbur is a lethal platform and is capable of carrying out different kinds of missions. It has, in total, 96 cell Mark 41 vertical launch system VLS, divided into two blocks of 32 and 64 cells. These can be configured with the combination of the following weapons based on the mission requirements. 1. RIM 66M5 Standard SM2MR Block 3B for air defense and anti-ship roll, with a range of 103 miles or 167 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. 2. RIM 156A SM2ER Block 4 for anti-aircraft and anti-ship roll with a range of 115 miles or 185 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. 3. RIM-161 SM-3 for ballistic missile defense with a range of 435 miles or 700 kilometers and a speed of Mach 10. It can also be used as an anti-satellite weapon. 4. RIM-162A ESSM for anti-missile roll with a range of 31 miles or 50 kilometers and speed of Mach 4. It can be quad packed in a single Mark 41 cell. 5. RIM 174A Standard ERAM or SM6 for anti-air warfare with a range of 150 miles or 240 kilometers per hour and speed of Mach 3.5. 6. BGM-109 Tomahawk for land attack. It has a long range of up to 1,550 miles or 2,500 kilometers with subsonic speed. 7. RUM-139A VL ASROC anti-submarine missile with a range of 13 miles or 22 kilometers. It also has two Mark-141 Harpoon missile launcher for anti-ship roll. Two Mark 32 triple torpedo tubes are present, launching Mark 46 or Mark 50 torpedoes. Two MH-60R Seahawk Lamps III helicopters are also present for anti-submarine warfare. Other than these, it's equipped with a long-range naval gun and multiple close-in weapon systems. As usual, China has lodged a verbal protest and falsely claimed it expelled USS Curtis Wilbur. Under the Trump administration, naval and aerial operations were stepped up with an aim to push back against what the Pentagon regards as increasing Chinese military hegemony in the region. Though some experts were of the view that the Biden administration would curtail these missions, this is not the case. USS Curtis Wilbur can take on Chinese military aircraft as well as surface combatants. It's heavily armed and any misadventure from the Chinese side will result in massive retaliation. It's evident that the US military will not back down. While China's been objecting to US's phone up, it's not stopped USS Curtis Wilbur. This is mainly due to the fact that the destroyer is one of the most powerful surface combatants in the world, and its capabilities enable it to take on anything China can throw at it.